Welcome to the Learning Zone. Today, we're going to be learning how to install FFmpeg on a Windows 10 computer. Now, it's not too difficult. I'm going to walk you through step by step. It's a very powerful tool for converting video and audio. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to FFmpeg.org. I'm going to have the link to that in the description, but make sure you go there. And then right on the home page, there will be a big download button. Click that download button. And then you're going to see the three options for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Of course, you're going to go over to the Windows and you have two options here. Hopefully you have the two options. If the first one is not available when you're watching this, just follow the same steps. It should be very similar. So we're going to click on it. It'll take us to this website, which will have the download for it. What you're going to do is scroll down to release builds. Now you have a couple different options. You have the 7-zip file and the .zip. Now you can do the 7-zip if you know what you're doing. You have 7-zip installed on your computer. Otherwise, we can just download the zip files a little bit bigger, as you can see. But we're just going to download this. So click on it, and we are going to download it. Um, let's download to our downloads, and it will download. Now, once you have it downloaded, you can click on it, and we are pretty much done with our browser. So first thing you're going to want to do, you can extract it. So extract all or extract it however you want to extract your zip file. And we are going to get it right into the downloads folder. So we'll take a few seconds here. And then once that's done, it will open up and we will close out of the zip one. And we have our files. Now you're going to double click on it and then go into the bin. Now, when you are here, you will have three different exe files. That is what you want to see. So what we need to do now is tell Windows where these files are at. Now, if you ever were clearing out your downloads and accidentally delete this file, you don't want that to happen. So what we're going to want to do is actually move these files to a place that we're not going to touch, not going to accidentally delete it or something like that. So what we're going to do is copy these three files. You can just right click copy. So let's go to over to our C drive. Um, we can go to users and then whatever user you are. And then we can make a new folder by right clicking new folder. We'll just call it path for right now and click on it. And then we are going to paste them. You can just uh, control V or paste and we will then put the files into this folder. Now, while we're here, what we're going to do is right click at the top and hit copy address because we'll need that for later. You don't need to do that, but it'll make things easier. So now what we're going to do is go down to the windows here, type in path. And when you do that, the best match that will come up is edit the system environment variables. Click on that. And the system properties will come up. So you click on environment variables. And as you can see, you've got your path here. And this is what we're going to add it to. Now, you could also do it for the entire system uh, under your system variables, but we're just going to use it for the user variables. Click on this and then hit edit. And then we're going to add a new one. Now, I already have this on here, but I'll pretend like I don't. And so you can right click and then paste, which is the address that you had earlier, which is going to be the username and then path. And this is where these three files are at. So yeah, if you didn't do this earlier, make sure to go back over here, copy this address, environment variables, path, edit, and then new, and then paste it in. Hit OK, and we should have it ready to go. Now, to check to make sure you're good is go down to the bottom here, type in CMD. This will open up the command prompt. And when you do that, you can type in FFmpeg, just like that. And when you hit Enter, stuff should come up. And then you should be able to use FFmpeg for all of your conversion needs. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it was straightforward and you don't have any issues. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try my best to help you out or maybe someone else can help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials in the future. See you next time.